I am Jassy from Colorado, and this incident occurred during my last semester of engineering in November 2011. Our semester exams were approaching, and we found the course Industrial Control Electronics, IC, quite challenging. Six of us in the group struggled with it. John, a top student in our class, had aced the midterm and agreed to help us with some important topics likely to appear in the final exam. He invited us for a night study session at his bungalow in Denver. When we arrived at his double-story bungalow, we went upstairs to the second floor, which had a study room and a large lounge. We settled in, putting away our bags. We started joking around, playing music on our phones and making quite a bit of noise. John repeatedly asked us to keep it down, but we ignored him. Around 1 a.m. we began studying and continued for about 2 hours and 20 minutes. We resumed our loud antics and John once again asked us to be quiet, but we didn't listen. Suddenly, I heard a soft bang on the door, which I initially ignored. A minute later, there were several loud bangs as if someone was throwing stones at the door with great force. All of us heard it and stared at each other, startled. I asked John if it could be someone from his family, but he assured us no one would be awake at that hour. The banging grew fiercer and more relentless. We could even hear stones rolling after striking the door. This continued for about two minutes. We stood in silence, unsure of what to expect next. When the noise stopped, John rushed to the door, but when he tried to touch the door lock, he cried out in pain, saying it was too hot. I felt it with a finger and found it was indeed scorching hot. We were relieved beyond words. We grabbed our bags and rushed out of the room. As we descended the stairs, we glanced back at the door, expecting to see piles of stones, but there wasn't a single stone or a scratch on the door.